What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video and in today's video guys, we'll be going over Magatamas in action timing in and how you should be building them. So let's get into the video. Alright, so if you guys want to be building Magatamas in uh, action timing in, um, if you don't know what Magatamas are by the way, this is going to be the basically the gear system for your weapons in action timing in. Um, so I'll actually show you guys the one set that I have built right now. Um, it's not going to be the best set ever, but uh, I think it's pretty good in terms of what I went for um, in terms of the, the set right here. But um, as you can see here, I have four crit pieces on the top. And for my build, I kind of just went increased damage dealt to all enemies and also crit rate and crit damage. So that was kind of like the premise of my build here for this uh, gear. I kind of just went for if I got increased damage dealt to all enemies or if I got to crit rate or crit damage. Um, I don't know like in particular how good um, crit rate crit damage is as a build. Um, but I do know that if you do get increased damage to all enemies, that's going to be probably the best uh, general case build um, for most, uh, you know, builds on uh, action timing in here um the only like you know if you're doing basically any stage and you just want to have gear for any stage this is definitely going to be the most optimal setup type of thing where you run increased damage dealt um to all enemies right um because there are options where you can get like increased damage dealt to a specific type of enemy like if i can find it here i think i have one that has a, a specific dealt yeah, so like this one right here is increased damage dealt to bosses, right? So there are different bonuses to which uh, damage dealt you can do. Um, but overall, I usually just go for increased damage dealt to all enemies just for general case builds. Um, if I was going for like, if I was doing like the tower per se, um, and I was trying to fight like, let's let's go to the tower just as an example. Um, the tower is end game content by the way if i was to go into the tower and we see the enemies here so demons if i wanted to boost the the my effectiveness in this fight i would run a full um increased damage delta demons gear set on my weapon because that would actually boost the amount of damage i do um by a lot more than uh, an increased damage delt set um to the demon set so um, that's basically how I go about making Magatamas. You guys might be wondering, amazing, how do I get Magatamas in Action Timonin? So the best place to actually get Magatamas is going to be the Time Attack here. And what you can do in Time Attack is actually go to the Chapter 3 one and go to hard or normal difficulty and the reason you're going to do chapter three on hard or normal is because you're going to be able to get the crit magatamas which are very good and then also the attack magatamas which are going to boost your attack um and this one boosts your crit rate right um so uh generally these are the ones you want to go about using when making a build for uh gear set in action timing in for your magatamas because you want to actually do as much damage as you can when you're playing the character you don't really want to be like a tank or anything like that you kind of just want to go in and do damage right um so i'm going to give my kurenai the gear set that uh my asagi has so i'll actually just switch over to my asagi and get the magatamas off of her and uh, we'll move it on to my kurenai i'm gonna actually complete the stage for you guys just to show you um that it's not too bad once you get like a full set of magatamas built with your uh, weapons um so we'll just switch to my kurenai here um but yeah hard is a little difficult if you're a new player um i'd, I'd highly recommend doing normal and trying to beat it because if you can get a few of these magatamas right here um it's actually going to help you uh an insane amount like early on um so i highly recommend trying to do normal if you can um but hard is going to be the one i'm going to do right now right and we're actually just going to switch my magatamas here and equip the ones um the maxed out ones so we'll just do this oh there we go this and then this we're gonna equip all of that and uh what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hop into the stage and we're gonna see how well we do here i'm running i think let me see here i think i'm running full red yeah i'm running full red on my kurenai here this is the build i'm going for um gale slash uh shinganji dual wield style uh, god's eye and kamitachi so um i'm gonna hop in here and you're gonna do times five as well you want to use all your bp um, and you want to hop in and you're going to get a pretty good chance of getting either of the Magatamas here. So let's actually just hop in and see how fast we can beat this stage. Um, it shouldn't be too long. Like if you have a built up character, like if you have a character level 75 at this point, um, you should just be able to beat this stage like fairly easy. So let's see. It shouldn't be too hard for me actually. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like my core knight is doing a lot of damage because of the Magatamas I have set up here. Um, I have it set to just like increase damage dealt to everyone and also the crit rate crit damage build, right? Um, so that's going to be super helpful. So let's actually just go through here. There you go. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this uh set or this build I have on my Kurenai right here, like full red. I actually kind of like it because you get like a really nice like speed boost when you get God's Eye off. 
So let's just see if I can pull it off. There we go. And then she goes crazy when she gets the crit rate bonus from God's Eye. And she's just able to go, like, you know, just doing an insane amount of damage, right? Which I really like. We also have Ingrid as well, so I can get off uh, ultimates like, a lot quicker. If I can get God's Eye, there we go. And we can drop a current eyes ultimate there. That's a lot quicker. And her ultimate's not going to do the most amount of damage, but it is going to do a lot if I get the crit off. Which is really nice, so. And there we are. There we go. Let's get out of there. There we go. Yeah, this stage is not too bad um, in terms of the enemies you fight in it. At the end, you're going to have a, a boss fight with Obero. So uh, you want to kind of prep for that once you get to that fight. Um, but it's not too bad getting there, right? Look at Kornai go, man. Look at her. Bop. There you go. And then fight this next area right here. Oh, let me get the dodge off. There you go. Oh, we'll go over this way. Igaza. There we go. We're in the next area here. Oh, give me the dodge, give me the dodge, give me God's eye. Give me God's eye. Ah, okay. Or not. Bop. Nice, easy kill. Give me the dodge, give me the dodge. There we go. Yeah, once I get God's eye off with this full red build on Kurnai, man, she just does so much damage. And it's so quick, too, because she has her attack... Uh, her attack speed is just like way quicker because she gets that speed boost with uh, the full red build Which I really like so we'll just actually take this guy out And we'll move on to the next area here where we fight Obero and this should be the end of the fight right here once we kill Obero so I should just do this. Let me get God's eye If I can uh, dodge right there. We'll drop the ult And bop look at that we get the we break her uh, super armor right there, and Obro is stunned. Yep, there we go. And that it, yeah, it is pretty easy once you have like a built up like uh, Magatama set for your characters too. Um, but you can eventually get to that point, right? Um, right now, like I've been playing uh, Action Timing now for almost a month. Um, I would say about probably like three weeks now, and uh, I do generally know like how you go about building a gear set. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically that for the uh, time attack uh, stage. If you want to actually beat it, we actually did get a uh, two minute and thirty eight seconds run, which is not my best, but uh, it is pretty nice. And as you will see here, as the rewards. By the way, it does not matter how fast you clear the stage for your rewards. Um, your rewards are just based on how lucky you are. So as you can see, I got a bunch of crit gear and we also got one attack piece. Um, so this is definitely the stage you want to go about getting your Magatamas from. Um, and if you guys don't know how uh, to actually build out your Magatamas for the uh, resets, we'll actually go over that real quick. Bottom. If you want to actually increase like a Magatama here, um, you have an option to reset and you also have an option to polish. So if you polish, um, what you're going to do is you're actually going to unlock it to uh, limit break it basically. You're going to make it so that you're able to actually start re-rolling for another um, amount like once you uh, you know unlock it. So once I polish this one, I'm going to have three slots where I can actually reset and change the uh, augments on it. So uh, as you can see, it's going to give me a, a random roll. And then now what I can do is I can upgrade it and we use the Magatamas that we're not using at the moment to actually upgrade them. And it's going to take four Magatamas of the SR rarity to actually max out um, each level. Um, so as you can see, like if I wanted to go from level one to level two, it's going to cost four. So four, eight, 12, 16. So it's going to take you about 16 Magatamas um, to actually get one of them to be uh, out of five, right? So we're actually just going to upgrade this one. Um, I might actually max this one out just for the video, just for video's sake, but we'll do this. And we'll actually just max out this one right here if i have enough gold but um yeah so we're gonna get that one and then we're just gonna drop another four of these uh maga thomas to actually max it out and we're gonna upgrade it and we're gonna get it to the uh final stage right there where we have uh enough so it's actually just see um there we are and uh, if you guys are wondering like how you get the uh, beads as well because you're actually going to need these beads right here um, to actually reroll the gear. Um, you actually get these beads from your daily quest and also from crafting. So if you go back 
Let me go to the crafting area, which I like to do this a lot because I feel like it's uh, the most amount of like uh, beads you get. Um, but I like to do this, and I just like to set it to max. Um, and then you actually just do this right here, and you can exchange your beads. If you have the uh, smaller beads right here, the R beads, you can exchange it for the SR ones. Um, and you just set it at max at 10, and then just do that. And I just like to do this every single time. Um, I have just a bunch of uh, the R uh, beads right there. So I actually just set all these going. Um, and then I'll show you guys uh, the stage here that we actually have to clear if we're going to want to get the beads. So let's go to the daily quest. Um, I think it is also half uh, stamina daily quest as well. Yeah, it is. So it's perfect. Um, so I'll actually just hop in. We'll clear this stage and we'll get hopefully a drop for the uh, SR beads here. So let's actually just hop in. But uh, yeah, this is basically like how you go about building your Magatamas if you're trying to actually gear them correctly. Um, but yeah, li like early on, I didn't really know how to go about it, but I kind of just went for uh, the increased damage dealt against all enemies and the crit rate bonuses. So I think that's probably going to be the play uh, long term. So let's actually just clear this whole stage here. Shouldn't be too long. This stage should not be too long, actually. Um, if I can get God's Eye, that'd be nice. We can go stupid crazy if I get that. Let's go. Ah, and there we go. Look at how much damage Kornai is doing, man. It's so crazy. Once you get God's Eye off, man, with this full red build, it is actually just juicy. Bop, 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 bop. Bop. Here we go. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. And then we'll take that out. Should be a boss, actually. Yeah, there we are. So I might just kill the boss right here. I can get God's Eye off and one-shot the boss. That'll probably be the play. There we go. Setsugi. Tempeji. And bop. Oh, we didn't get the kill. Unfortunate. Well, he will die here, though. Because he isn't going to be able to kill me, actually. Just because my current eye built crazy. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the stage you clear. The daily quest stage, right? Um, so once you clear the daily quest stage, you have a chance of dropping beads and you also have a chance of getting the facility upgrade stuff. So let's actually just go through, um, touch next, and let's see what we get here. Let's see if we got any beads as a drop. Um, yeah, so we did. So we got a few beads as drops as well. And we also got like, uh, um, let's see, we also got the uh, crafting facility uh, core modules here, which is good for getting your facilities up. So this is going to be the daily quest you want to farm only during half stamina, by the way, if you want to actually get your uh, beads up. Um, so, you know, take a day, dedicate it off to beads. Um, I think today, actually, once reset hits, which is resets hitting in about like, I think 30 minutes now or not even actually. No, it should actually be out already. Um, but yeah, like reset's gonna be out by the time this video is out. Um, and you guys will actually be able to farm all four of your daily quests, which is pretty nice. So definitely make sure to farm your beads if you want to be building out your Magatamas. But that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.